Riding your first 100 miles is a big deal. It doesn't matter whether you're a beginner rider, an experienced rider, a racer, a commuter, or a weekend warrior, because everyone is gonna have to spend time improving their fitness and skills in order to succeed. Me included, because very soon I'm gonna be doing my first ever 100 mile gravel race. And I've been using AI powered coaching platform, Humango, in order to help me prepare for it. But I'm not gonna be doing this race alone. Oh no, 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 no. I have convinced someone else to do it with me. Someone who once said they would never be in a GCM video and the gravel riding wasn't for them. Both of which they have since changed their minds on. All right, Chloe? Yeah, I'm back for more. Oh yeah. In this video, we are gonna share our training and progress as we have spent time preparing for the toughest challenge either of us have ever done. Big Sugar in America, which is a 100 mile gravel race. Now there is best part of 12 weeks preparation gone into this. The important question remains, has artificial intelligence helped us prepare and... How on earth has our marriage survived? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. The best way to tackle any big challenge is to make a plan. We need to not only improve our fitness and endurance, but also improve our gravel riding skills as well. Now, Humango's artificial intelligence powered coach is named Hugo. Hugo is gonna guide us through the process and automatically plan and adjust the training that we do to help maximize our performance. Now, the final thing we need to do is jump onto the Humango website, create our account, tell it all of the key metrics and details about us and the event which we are doing. That way the AI can plan what we need to do and when in order to arrive at race day in the best shape possible. Before we start with any serious workouts, we need to conduct a fitness test and we're gonna do a ramp test, which gradually increases the effort level until your body can do no more. We've exported the workout to follow along on our computer, but you can also export all of the workouts and sessions directly to your head unit, making it much easier to follow the structured sessions when you're out on the road or doing them indoors. With a short warm up done, it was down to business with this tough effort. Right, this is it. All the hard work for Big Sugar starts now. Right, okay, good luck. It's getting tough now. I'm done. Oh. oh boy, that was tough, but well worth it. Chloe had a maximal final minute power of 235 watts, with mine being 471 watts. These numbers can be used later on when we repeat the test after all of our training to see if we've improved and by how much. Um, all that's left for us is to, is to go away and crack on and film stuff as we go. Easy? Um, it sounds easier than it probably will be, but <laughs> let's do it. All right, um, we'll see you guys out on the gravel tracks. Today marks a pretty significant marker in our preparations for the Big Sugar Gravel event because we've got 100 days to go. How are we taking this milestone? Well, we're starting it with the dog walk on gravel. Uh, but fear not, we are actually gonna do some cycling, lots of road riding, lots of gravel riding to brush up on our skills. And also we're just gonna have to get used to spending a lot of time in the saddle. When you wanna go cycling, but it's raining. So, anaerobic session, short one minute intervals, one minute recovery, pushing our bodies to the limits, trying to improve our maximal effort and power. Why are you going that way? Hello, why are you not going through there? When you said going for a nice gravel ride, I didn't imagine this. It's <laughs> been like mountain biking. Like... Are you muddy? Very. Quick update now. We are on week three, I think, of our preparation. It's grey, it's wet, and this field is waterlogged, which kind of sucks, really. Today's one of those days where I'm just really, really tired, and I could have easily finished work. I just laid on the sofa. But that's not going to get me to Big Sugar, is it? <laughs> it's not going to get me around 100 miles of gravel. <laughs> Um, we're heading to a gravel event, um, it's starting at Throxton. I've got my training plan loaded up on Humango. And do you know what I thought today? 
I'm going to nail all of the specifics. I'm looking forward to the fact of completing the tough workout. Gravel bike problems. Ran into a tractor. I've got to say, I am absolutely exhausted today. So much so that Chloe, you noticed because you said that I let you ride on the front more. Mm. What is also great about commuting is you get to walk around looking like this. What's that all about? So here we are, we're into week six, I think it is, or is it maybe seven? Either way, I've just had a notification, an update come through from the Humango app, and it said that it's just finished an automatic replan of my training. Now, the reason it's done that replan is because last week it said that I spent too much time in the higher intensity. Close on the road. I've got to be brutally honest here. I don't think either of us actually want to be outside cycling right now. You've got to trust the process a bit. It's almost well, like we tried, tried to second guess. Yeah, and like we assumed that it was wrong or that like, oh, that's not hard enough, like that's not right. <laughs> so basically what we've done is gone, we're better than that, we can do more. And then it's hit us today, big boy turbo session that was actually super tough. And whilst we did do it, we both struggled. So I think maybe we've actually got ourselves to blame. Maybe we're not actually, we don't know better than AI. Maybe we don't know better than AI. You don't get views like this on the road. I mean, look at that. What a morning for a gravel ride. Trails are a little bit muddy and damp, but whatever. We're enjoying it. With our race fast approaching, I thought it would be nice to have a proper update on how we were getting on. And to help do that, I've drafted in Ollie, a lover and hater of AI. Right, you two. How, how are you finding being coached by AI? I'm finding it good, but it's quite interesting from my perspective coming at it from the mindset of an ex-pro racer. Mm. Whereas I think you're approaching it with quite a different mindset. Because whilst you're not a total beginner, you're quite experienced, but a beginner on gravel. Was that what you would feel? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like not the first time I've ever jumped on a bike. I've never sort of ridden with any structure or specific efforts or training. It's sometimes a bit hard to fit it in around work and life and and also sometimes just taking those specific efforts and training and doing it on the road. It's just not always possible, depending on where you ride. Well, and even, like you say, transferring the workouts onto the road can be tricky. If you want to get your specifics done, you would do on the turbo, wouldn't you? Yes. We've been trying to not only take the workouts and the specifics outside, but also trying to transfer onto gravel is tricky. Uh, so it, in terms of the structure, how are you finding doing structure, Chloe? Because like you said, you've not done much structure in the past. It's nice to have something a bit more specific to focus on. Although I think like sometimes the efforts maybe seem easier than I would have thought, but then maybe that's because all of my riding beforehand was and I was doing it wrong. Maybe I was always riding too hard before. <laughs> You're constantly trying to keep up with me. Yeah. But for God's sake, I'll slow down, will you? And I can see it's, it's already like visually, I can see it's making a difference to your riding. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. So do you feel you're better prepared now? Yeah, it just seems less terrifying than it did when I initially said yes. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. So I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be uh, a challenge, but I feel, I, I, yeah, I do feel prepared. Well, we've still got more time to prepare. Yeah. So. yeah. Steal the nuclear codes, interval four. <laughs> After close to seven weeks worth of AI coaching made up of gravel rides, road rides, indoor workouts and plenty of rest and recovery, we now need to see if all of the hard work has paid off and it's time for another ramp test to see where our fitness is at. And after a thorough warm up, it was down to business. Right, this is it. Chloe, are you ready for hell? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Give it all you got. Done. So, Chloe, ramp test done for the second time round. What an awful experience <laughs> that was. But um, the numbers don't lie, so do you want to run us through 
your first ramp test that we did to remind everybody at home and then also reveal the results for the second. So my first ramp test, my best one minute was 235 watts. And then today, my best one minute was 270 watts. Oh, wow, that's a massive yeah, improvement. So 35 watts more. 35 watts added on top. I've already worked it out. I think that is a 15% improvement. Like, high five to that. I'm pretty impressed with that. You should be, that's absolutely <laughs> mega. I did make an improvement as well. Nowhere near as amazing as you. I added five watts onto my one minute maximal effort in the ramp mm. test. I mean, an improvement is an improvement, but it's not quite as amazing as what you've done. My improvement equates to a 1% gain. I'm not surprised, really. How do you mean by that? Are you already starting from a fairly high level when you know your fitness was a lot, you yeah. know, a lot better than mine, and you just had years of experience? I mean, I wasn't unfit, but I had a bigger room jump. for improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a really good point to make. But also, uh, a ramp test is only like a snapshot into yeah. your fitness. It's not looking at things like your skills on the bike, uh, longer duration efforts, or just your endurance in, in general as well. So taking a step back as such, looking back at the whole seven weeks, we've still got lots of training to do in preparations for Big Sugar, but how have you found the process when you look back on it now? Yeah, really positive actually. I've really enjoyed having more structured workouts to follow. Um, it removes the sort of like the guess element from it. I mean, I wouldn't know what I'd need to do you know, without following yeah. the plan, I would usually yeah. just ask you. So it's nice to have that in the background, being able to check in and it keeps you on track. And yeah, yeah it's I been think, really helpful. Yeah, I think I'm in agreement with you. I've enjoyed the process of it. And for me, taking a step back into sort of structured training again, having raced for all those years as like a, a pro cyclist, it's nice to take a look back and get involved again. I have enjoyed it just like you have, and it's helped keep me on track. There's no doubt about that. But I think it's evident that there was more headway for you to improve yeah. than what it was for me. So to answer the question which we posed at the start of this video, which was, can AI coaching and the Humango app help us prepare for the 100 mile gravel race we're doing? I think the answer is yes, yeah. but the results that you're gonna get are gonna vary depending on the level of experience you've got. But just as you mentioned a minute ago, it's really important to understand that as intelligence, as intelligent as artificial intelligence is, it's only as good as the information you put in. So the more information you put in, the more information you're gonna get out, and therefore, the bigger the improvements you're gonna see yeah. are. Um, I think that's kind of it from us, isn't it? Yeah. Nice, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video and really enjoyed seeing the process of us training. Don't forget, if you wanna follow our journey still and see how we get on in the race itself, subscribe to GCN, and that way, you won't miss out on the future videos. Right, high five to that again, last one. See you later, bye. Yeah.